The Fast Track Planner is the ultimate mentoring tool, and this is the document that started it all uh, in the beginning. It was the first uh, first basic system inside DoTerra, um, and and it, it's interesting because uh, for whatever reason, uh, people uh, don't fully use utilize the tools and resources that are available to them, and then when they do. It's like this amazing revelation. So hopefully today we can show you why this document is such an amazing revelation when you start. Um, because basically it's a personal business plan for your new builder. And it begins with basically this area where it, it just says you start here. Uh, and, uh, and, and then you just go through. It, you just uh, go through these things. It's like, have you had a membership overview? Has somebody personally gone through the membership overview with you? And have you set up your loyalty rewards for 125 PV? And as you go through these, you just check off the ones that you can do. And it's so fun sitting with people that have been in the business for a long time and then going through this and finding out how many steps they left off. Yeah. <laughs> right? And so then that, now once they complete this prepare section, we just simply ask uh, the new person, when can you be completed with the prepare section? And that sets up the follow up. Yep. And then, the other thing is, is again, when people, when you're using this, when people are seeking mentoring. So when a lot of times people ask us, well, how do you mentor? And we go, well, are you, have you sat down with people with this? Because once you get through this prepare section, step two is where they find and teach about 45 people. Now, there are 45 checkboxes in here. And you'll notice that as you go through each of the checkboxes, if a person has seen a class you write their name in any of those boxes. So, right. just, so if we had a contact named Connor, for example. I would write Connor. Connor heard the presentation, went through the MyOL class, then I would write his name there. Right. Regardless of if he signs up or not, it does not matter. All we're doing is we are writing the names of everyone who has seen the class. Now, if the person has enrolled, then I'm going to put a dash mark in the blue box if the person then has had a membership overview, I'm going to finish the X in the blue box. If they've had a, a business overview, I'm going to put a dash mark in the green box. And then if, they have, if, they're, if they've committed to build, I'm going to put, finish the X. And the reason I do that is because I can see at a glance, um, if this is my fast track planner, I can look on here and say, okay, I've taught uh, 27 people, uh, 12 of those have enrolled. Uh, nine of those have had a member overview, three had a business overview, and I have one committed builder. And what that does is it shows me exactly where I might be falling uh, down. And so, so this is a really important part just for, for keeping track of the most important critical things that are happening in my business. Now the next step is to set a goal. And, uh, and so we have people set a goal in their uh, doTERRA business. Um, and, and we break those down into two areas. It's, uh, what do they see out in 90 days, which is fairly predictable, right? We can, we can kind of figure out what we're going to do over 90 days. And then the other one is just their long-term goal. Where do they want to go with this? Uh, and there's some journaling exercises that we go through here. Uh, and, then, uh, and then we can ex re-explain the ranks, uh, and we can have them kind of target dates that they would like to achieve these various uh, rank levels. Now, the next step is to explain the 631 success schedule. And for this, as a mentor, when I'm, when I'm mentoring this individual, I can use the My Daily Edge app or the My Daily Edge uh, notebook. It really just depends on your preference, if you like to use your technology or if you prefer paper. But basically, um, what these are designed to do is, is to make sure that you are do, following the 631 success schedule. The six, uh, six daily uh, activities... Um, three weekly objectives and one monthly event. And all three of the, or the six, the three, and the one, all of those activities are designed to help a person move people through the three doors of openness. And so, um, so for example, on question number one, it says, who will I invite to a class or a one-on-one -on -one today? Well, those people, if I were looking at the three doors, that would be door number one. If I were to go, okay, what are the activities I need to do to invite people through door number one? It would be question number one here. Uh, who has attended a class that I will follow up with is question number two. Now, if you're using this, I like to just fill in the answers. So every day I am writing in the answers to these particular questions. If you're using the app and you click on door one, then it'll show you, you can, 
if you're I'm wondering, sure you're yeah, you're wondering list. who you need to invite. We'll click on that, and it'll show you everybody on your names list that you haven't invited yet. Or if you click on another button, it'll say, you know, the, who has attended the class that I will follow up with. It'll show you everybody who has attended the class that you haven't followed up with yet. So, so the app makes it a lot more uh, streamlined. But this is a very easy and simple way of making this very predictable. Right. And and so what I like to do is is just go through this, make sure that they understand the six daily questions the three things they need to accomplish on a weekly basis, and then that they need to be attending a one monthly event. Now the inside of the planner is designed, once somebody commits to build, like, like the front of the planner is teach 45 to find four builders, and that's just an average ratio, right? And now as I find somebody that wants to build, I can put their name on the inside, and then the, the check boxes in this part of the planner are identical to the front, they're just laid out vertically. Uh, right. So it's, you're tracking the exact same things, the prepare section, uh, you're tracking uh, the number of people that they taught, you're tracking the number of member overviews, business overviews. And, and as you go through this, it's a fun exercise to ask yourself a question, uh, especially if you're mentoring a new, or, or mentoring a builder, is to ask, all right, how many builders do you have and where are they at? Do you know how many uh, people they've taught? And then it starts to tell a story. Because they're gonna they're gonna teach forty five to find their four builders as well, which starts their organization. And now the very bottom of the uh, this is a resource that just helps explain the full system, uh, uh, the edge system. So you're, it's you're walking through three doors with three invitations that lead to three presentations. And so the bottom of the planner here goes through the simple flow. These are the three invitations, three doors, and the three presentations. Uh, all listed out, all the scripts and everything are there on, on what to say. So you can literally open this up with a new person and train them uh, the full system uh, just in one line. Right. So if, if, you, if you were to, to kind of take a snapshot of how this works, then the front of the, of the planner is where you are tracking your personal progress. And when you're progressing in your business, you're going to find people who want to build and need mentoring. When you write them in the middle, this is where you're tracking their progress. So on the front, you're seeing how far, how many people you've taught and how many membership overviews they've had. But in the middle, you are seeing how many people they've taught and how many membership overviews they've taught and business overviews and so forth. So that's how that works. And that leads to the back of the planner, which helps you build a proper structure and to build depth in your organization and to develop leadership in depth. And the way that this works is that it's just a reminder, it's like placeholders, to help a person get to the rank of gold. And so when this is a fantastic tool to mentor someone all the way up into that rank, because what they can do is they can, um, the first area here, this is called million dollar real estate. The, the principle being is that you're not gonna just, you know, build under anybody. You're going to help three people who have taken part of your million dollar real estate. So, so you can put their names here. Um, You'll notice that you'll see the F, T, E, and the D over every box, and that means find, teach, enroll, and duplicate. So when I write a name there, I may write, you know, um, Joan right here is someone th that I'm working with, and then when she can find, I'll check that box. When she can teach, I'll check that box. When she's able to enroll others, and then finally when she's able to duplicate herself in others. Those are four critical skills that they can learn by listening to the Four Essential Steps audio. Um, and by, you know, obviously implementing those things into their skills. But as they can develop in those four areas, this just helps me keep track of where they are. And then what's happening is, is that, that I'll, this is where you can find out where to be focusing your time. Because as you move down, like for example, let's say that I were to enroll <clears throat> you and I were to put your name right here. Well, we would get together and we would be teaching classes for a while and we would be teaching a, a whole bunch of people and enrolling a lot. Well, at some point, we're going to find someone that you know that would be uh, that wants to build the business, and you might put their name right here. And so, what I'll do is I'll start working with. Let's say this person's name is John. Well, I'll start. I could get down there, and so you're there, and I'll work with John, and we're both helping John. And we're just like with you. We've we've found a bunch of people. We've enrolled a lot, but maybe he enrolled someone named April. And April's really interested in building the business. And so then I'm going to put April's name right here and start focusing my attention on April until she can find and teach and enroll and duplicate. And when I've developed that, that leader in that process, we're going to find the next leader. And we do the same thing with them. And as you continue to drive depth, that's called taprooting. Just like the taproot of a tree, 
You're, you're finding the root and you're driving that root deep until you've developed uh, levels and levels of leaders. We have seven different levels here that you can develop leadership and depth. And when you do that, two, well, a lot of things happen. Number one is it creates so much momentum above that those people just start going like crazy. And the other thing is that um, you've developed so many layers of leaders that it also starts to provide you a lifestyle, meaning that as your team grows, you've developed so much leadership that you're not inundated with with phone calls and things like that because you have so many people that can help support the new leaders that are coming on. Now, the, uh, the so this is designed to teach placement strategy. And, uh, uh, and so these blocks represent builders and not just customers. So the customers, you're just mm -hmm. going to place wherever you need volume uh, or whoever they're aligned with. Um, but basically... If you if you're if you start putting the names of people that want to build in these blocks, uh, you'll be building for gold and you'll hit silver in the process. Right. And uh, and once you've figured and mastered this out, then you can go way beyond this. Yeah. Like for Blue Diamond, we just have five of these sheets, right? <laughs> and I could track I could track all the teams that need to go gold. Right. And, and uh, so. fact of the matter is, and if if you have if you can mentor someone to gold, you basically mentored them to diamond. Too. The same skill set that they're going to need to get to gold is the same skill set they need to be to diamond. And so, so just uh, use the tools, use the process. Oh, one other thing I wanted to make sure. <clears throat> in the, as you're keeping track of all of the, the check boxes and things in there, what it really comes down to is that you're, 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 if I'm mentoring you, I need to know the answers to five questions. One is how many people have you taught a class to um, that are from your network, your names list? Uh, how many of those have enrolled? How many of the people who have enrolled have had a member overview? How many of those have had a business overview? And who wants to build? And if I know the answers to those five questions, then I know what kind of help you need. So if you were to tell me, yeah, I've taught 20 people, I've enrolled three, and nobody wants to build, I know that there's a problem with the class and that I might need to get in and start, you know, because you, if you've taught 20, you should have enrolled around 10 or more. And so if, if I know where you are in those, in those numbers, then I'm able to help support you and mentor you and give you the support you need to make sure that, that you know how to build your business correctly and where you're breaking down. And so that's the essence of mentoring, and that's how you use the Fast Track Planner to make that easy.